what's going on, the friends? My name is Empty and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Diamond in Lost Park. Anyway, we got here to Orbrick City. We got the, we got through the Orbrick Mines. We found the gym leader, and now in this part, we are going to be heading our way into the gym and get our first gym badge because that's gonna be awesome. All right, uh, the gym does not look that that much different from Platinum. As you can see, it looks exactly the same. Um, I actually do not remember what what exactly it looks like in Platinum, but I'm per but it is definitely much similar. If you want to avoid all the trainers, go ahead and do this. Unfortunately, if you fight the gym leader, you won't be able to fight the, any of the gym trainers anymore. So you might as well just make the best of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make our let's go ahead and uh, fight these two trainers. As gym uses um rock types. So, it also uses ground types as well. There's some ground Pokemon that, that you'll find here. Um, so if you have, so therefore saying, if you have a water type, or even a grass type, maybe even a steel type, or a fighting type, then this gym is going to be very, very easy for you. Now, um, let's see, what's it called? Um, one thing to know is that, uh, one thing to know is that if you start off with a Turtwig or a Pibble, you're going to be having an easy time. This gym is going to be no joke. If you have a Chimchar, a, you either have to catch a Pokemon that'll back you up, or B, evolve it. That is all. Let's fight these trainers. Yeah, why did I avoid the long way around? Man, I should have done that. Oh, oops! Whoa, what's this? Perla is evolving? Oh my god! Whoa, this is unbelievable! And with that, Perla is now a Prinplup. Awesome. And learns and she wants to learn Metal Claw. Great. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of Growl, because I have no need for Growl at this point. I mean, as useful as it was early on, no thank you. In fact, actually, I'd never really take advantage of Growl. It's not really that good. Um, okay. Uh, Turtwig evolves into Grottle on level 18, and Chimchar evolves to... Uh, that's it. Monferno on level 14 and becomes fighting type right off the bat. So that's why that's why I recommend that if you have a Chimchar, you would want to evolve it. Or if you don't feel like evolving it this early, then you can go ahead and catch yourself another Pokemon to back you up. How humiliating indeed. Alright. So, if you're ready, I would recommend go heal up and then save. But because I'm a maniac, I'm not gonna do that. So without further ado, let's do it. Alright, this is the Orbra Quick One Gym. I am Rorak the Gym Leader. I am the one trainer who decided to walk proudly with the rock type Pokemon. And as the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you! Alright, Roark is extremely easy. You should there's you should not have a hard time with the with the battle. Actually, actually to be fair, it's a, um uh, his last Pokemon could be a pain in the butt. So Roark has three Pokemon. His first Pokemon is gonna be a Geodude, level 12, Rock Ground type with the Rock Head ability, and has Rock Throw and Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock is a Generation 4 move where it has these flying stones in the battlefield, and therefore saying if you switch out, you will take damage. The next Pokemon that you switch out that you switch out to will take damage. So you want to be careful of that. Um, all right, next up is gonna be Onyx. I am going to keep out. Mainly because, mainly because Sparkle's not really, is not good, is actually useless for this gym. Um, next up is Onyx, level 12, Rock Ground type with a Rock Head ability. He has Rock Throw, Screech, and Stealth Rock. Screech lowers your defense by a lot, so be careful of that. Okay, so that's two Pokemon now. And then next up is the real challenge, which is Cranidos, level 14 Rock type with the Mold Breaker ability. It has Headbutt, Pursuit, and Leer. 
Yes, I can. At least I hope so. All right, here we go. All right, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna use Metal Claw. Uh, Metal Claw is a steel type move that can sometimes raise attack, so I'm gonna hope that I, my attack can get raised up. Uh, please? Okay, no, it did not. All right. Uh, headbutt has a chance of flinching, so you wanna be careful when it uses Headbutt. All right, not giving up, indeed. And then Pursue is powerful if you're going to switch, so be careful of that. All right, here we go. Okay, all right. And then, of course, just like uh, from Generation 3 and onwards, every single gym leader will use... Uh, well, every single gym leader has two potions, so be careful of that. You only use one, that's good. So, yeah, that was kind of lucky. So there we go. All right, Rorok done. We didn't have too much of a trouble with that with that fight. That was pretty easy. Uh, thank, uh, thank, thanks to the uh, training I did, to the little bit of training I did off screen. So there we go. My buffed up Pokemon. Well, you're the first gym leader. Of course, a trainer who's gonna fight you is not gonna have a single gym badge. My goodness. All right, that's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I am given a gym badge. So here we go, the Pokemon League Cole Badge. That's the first badge out of the eight badges that we're going to be getting in this game. Amazing. All right, so with that with that being said, we can now use the Rock Smash outside of battles. And we get the TM76, and this TM contains Stealth Rock. Um, Stealth Rock, I already explained. Um, has these mo ha ha um, has these flying stones in the background, and you will take and the next Pokemon that switches out will take damage, and it is not good. All right, so there we go. Uh, let's see. I don't need. To, I don't think I need to heal up because I uh, that was a uh, quite a simple battle. So. But I but I will uh, go to go to the shop and do some shopping. So I'll be right back. In fact, since this is the first Pokemon Mart, I will might as well just show it off because why not? All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first things first. I usually like to this is what I usually like to do. I like to sell stuff before I buy stuff. So let's see so let's see what stuff I don't need that I can sell. Um, I don't need this. This is useless. I mean, I could throw it away, but I mean, it, I mean, money, man, money. It, there's nothing that there's nothing good. There's nothing better to get besides money. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of these. We're gonna go ahead and get a couple of these as well, just in case, you never know, as well as these. I don't think I'll need any of these, nor of these, or any of those. This, these I will definitely take advantage of, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of my money to buy these. Uh, repels are definitely gonna be useful. Here on the other side right here, you can go ahead and get some uh, mail as well as some other unique balls, like heal ball and net ball. Um, Heal ball basically just re just when you catch a Pokemon with a heal ball, um, then the Pokemon is automatically refilled without having to heal it up. Um, as opposed to when you catch it, when you catch the Pokemon, that's the condition of the Pokemon you're gonna catch it in. And then there's also Net Ball, which is better catching uh, either Water or Bug Pokemon. So. All right. Well, anyway. Um, hello, Vince. You kind of ran. You kind of have to watch where you're going. You kind of ran into me. That's kind of bad for you. Uh, yeah, I did get the gym badge. Uh, okay, turn to see the next place to go. Awesome. I'll be on my way. Oh, so I can't get the. Yeah, I checked there before. All, all right. Can't get there without a bicycle. All right then. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I'll race you there. Actually, not really, because I'm going to lose right away because of the deep sword I'm going to be taking now that I have uh, Rock Smash. So now that I have Rock Smash, I'm going to go ahead and teach that right now to whoever can learn it. It looks like Perla and Beedoof can learn it. I'm going to teach it to Beedoof just because Rock Smash would be, a waste of, it would be a waste of my time if I give it to Perla. So you see these rocks right here? This is the reason why we couldn't we, why we couldn't get, uh, take up Ticket's path earlier, so we're going to go ahead and break these rocks. And we're gonna go ahead and go go down here, and uh, to and and uh, get get a couple items. Uh, you're normally supposed to wait until later until you have uh, uh, later items, or until you have like better equipment. So then you can explore more here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get what I can get. In fact, it's better if you come here now because you want this TM. Of course, any TM is not required, but you want to have Flash. 
it's it is recommend it well yeah there are unfortunate well fortunately though uh with this game you don't have you there's you don't like if you're going to go through the required route you don't need to you don't need to go through any dark areas at all in the game which is great uh but for the sake of showing you all the areas i will i will i will take advantage of flash Right there's another Stardust, and that's pretty much all we can do for now. Uh, these little ramps right here, we can't really do anything about about yet, so... Alright, well, well, we're done. In that case, uh, we shall make our way to Jubilee City. Which uh, should be straightforward. Which should be a straightforward path on uh, uh, on our way back, so let's uh, go ahead and make our way. If you want to go ahead and avoid as much grass as possible, you can go ahead and take this path right here, jump down this ledge. And I will not run into any wall Pokemon going through these two, going through those patches of grass. So there we go. Don't mind running through. And, uh, and then we're back here to Jubilee City. All right. I talk too much. I just realized I gotta shut up. Uh, whatever. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're we're back to Jubilee City. And um, and uh, now uh, where we're supposed to go is up here. Now that we have Rock Smash. Oh hey, it's Professor Ronan Lucas. And who are these two people? Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are, are, are babbling utter nonsense I just can't stomach. Show them, show them some manners if you will. Oh, Professor Pokemon. I, I like how they call him Professor Pokemon. That's, that is the best name. I'm, gonna call, I'm just going to call him Professor Pokemon from now on. Rise with your research findings. In return, we'll refrain from causing massive dam dam damage to your assistance. Sure, I can do that. All right. Well, all right. Well, I'm, I'm actually surprised it actually goes to the battle that early, uh, that fast. Uh, usually, there's a lot more dialogue to that in Platinum, but uh, then again, this is uh, this is the um, first version of of, this, of of Generation Four, so it's so it's de they definitely got to got to simple it out. All right. So anyway, this is our first battle against Team Galactic. It is it, this is going to be your your bad guy team of the game, and. Um, um, I will say that Team Galactic is my favorite team in the in, in out of any of the bad guy criminals in the game in, in in Pokemon series. Um, mainly because of of uh, I don't know their objective is kind of, is like really really out there unlike the other unlike the other teams, and also their leaders are really cool as well. Um, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Giov of Team Rocket's Giovanni, or Team Aqua's Archie, or Team Magma's Maxi. I'm not just, a, I'm not really just much of a big fan of those. Also, this is your first double battle. This is, a, this is indeed a required double battle, um, uh, uh, ironically enough. So there we go. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So there we go. Also, um, let's call it, um, I love their music. Team Galactic has my favorite music in the game. Their battle theme is amazing. I could listen to it all day without getting bored of it. Team Galactic is be benevolence to all. We shall leave. Well, whatever. I don't even know what the heck you're talking about. Yeah, I happen to have an evolved Pokemon. I mean, haven't you looked at what my? Haven't you looked at Perla? I wonder what. Yeah. Definitely not no regrets at all. 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. That's amazing. Alright, awesome. I like how you I like how you abbreviate his name to prof instead of professor. That was truly excellent. Oh yeah. You're from Jubilee TV. Great. All right. For so for having a smashing battle, we get ourselves a fashion case. So with this, you can go ahead and get accessories and design your Pokemon and do all kinds of wonderful stuff with it. I've never, I never really use it, but that's just that. That's why I'm just saying all of that based on my own knowledge. So okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick, and then we shall be on our merry way. 
Okay, so real quick before I uh, go ahead and move on, uh, now, now that all those uh, Team Galactic people are gone, this clown is not blocking the way anymore, so we can go ahead and head over here and um, then make our way uh, up here. So go ahead and head up here and talk to this guy right here, and this guy's gonna be like, Oh, you are a future star, and then you'll give you the mask of whatever starter Pokemon you chose. Therefore, if you have a Piplup, he's gonna give you a Piplup mask. If you have a Turtwig mask, if you have a Turtwig, he's gonna give you a Turtwig mask. And if you have a Chimchar, he's gonna give you a Chimchar mask. Oh my god! Too much words. I know, it's kind of crazy. Alright, now over here, um, depending on the, the time of day, or depending on the day that you're playing the game on, there will be a train. There will be a daily trainer over here. And because now because I'm recording this on Thursday, I'll be fighting these interviewers. Um, I am now I am going to cheat the system and show you guys all seven trainers, just so you can see what the trainers here are gonna be fighting. So, uh, all right. So with that being said, because since I'm recording this on Thursday right now, I might as well show you guys the, these battles. So without, without further ado, let's go ahead and fight them. Sure, let's have a battle. I forgot to mention that these battles are stupidly hard if you're going to be fighting them early on. Yeah. Anyway, next trainer. Okay, so if you are playing on Wednesday, you're going to be go you're going to go ahead and fight this clown. Oh yeah, we oh, we, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, we fought clowns before. We are uh, we we seen clowns in uh, Jubilee City when we were getting coupons, and now we're going to actually fight one. So let's do it. Oh my god, ugh, that was so annoying. Oh well, at least we beat him. Alright, next trainer. Alright, today is Tuesday, so we're gonna go ahead and fight this next trainer. It is gonna be a cameraman, so let's do it. I spotted a charismatic trainer, is it okay to go, to, to go for the scoop? Yes you may. Alright, here we go.
That was crazy. Oh man, honestly I thought that I was gonna let Sparkle take on that whole battle by herself, but I was wrong. Alright, well then, anyway. Uh, everybody loves Mondays, so let's uh... There's nothing better but a Monday special, but to fight this next trainer, and that is a reporter. Here we go, I'm working on a story. Oh, a story, huh? Awesome! Honestly, that is a load of bullcrap, and I real, I real, that is like the worst trainer I've e I'm ever gonna fight out of all of these seven trainers. Goodbye, next trainer. Okay, it's Sunday. Everybody loves Sundays, right? Cause guess what? Sunday is always the day where you're like, oh, I hate going to school. I'm sad. Anyway, gotta fight an idol. Um, so let's do it. More than singing, more than dancing, I love Pokemon. And shall we battle? Yes, we may. Sure, I'm up for a fan club. Sparkles evolving. And with that, Sparkles now a Luxio. All right. Awesome. Next trainer. Okay, our next trainer is going to be a guitarist that you mostly use electric Pokemon. We'll be seeing more of these later on. Alright, let's do it. Your spirit's vibes, I can feel you've got rock in your veins. Okay, we got one more trainer, so let's go ahead and fight the last trainer. And the final trainer to lies right here. It is a Pokey Kid dressed in a Pikachu. Honestly, when I first started playing, honestly when I first played the game, and I stumbled upon this trainer, this type of trainer, I was like, oh my god, is that a Pikachu? Let me go ahead and talk to it. Oh my god, it's crazy. I want to become more like a Pikachu. Oh, I can tell because you're dressed in a Pikachu outfit. Here we go.
All right, we're finally out of there. All right, we can get out. I gotta hope that the recording doesn't doesn't, doesn't uh, crap up on me because I because I really don't want to start to start this whole train wreck all over again. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'll do if that happens though. To be honest. Anyway, um, every odd number of badges. Go ahead, you want to come here to this building and uh, talk to this guy. You know, this is the guy that gave you the poke edge, and uh, he will give you a new app, which is the memo pad. And uh, with the memo pad, uh, you can um, well, well, like, well, rather than it talking about it, I should just show you it. So here we go. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I passed it. No. Ah, come on. Where is it? I gotta look for it again. Here it is. Okay. So with this, with this thing, you can go ahead and draw some stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself a little uh, Starman from uh, Mario games, like that kind of. It's not not really my best, but you know it, it, it's 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 what you can expect. All right, and that's that. All right, well then, uh, after all that mess, we can finally make our way up this way. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And next time we're gonna head up north, and hopefully we can make our way to our next city. Goodbye.